Hey everybody, Brian Beeler here from Storage Review today, and we are taking a look at something that could be the fastest SSD we've ever seen. And that's a difficult challenge because Intel has been doing a really good job with their persistent memory SSDs Optane. This is the P5800X, the preeminent high-speed storage device in the market. Now, storage device that gets a little bit tricky. There's also Intel persistent memory that uses Optane, but in a different form factor. That really slots in after DRAM, but before storage in terms of the, the hierarchy of data. These guys have been super popular as a uh, cache drive or a write tier drive in hybrid scenarios. We used them in the uh, data on review last year where we fronted a bunch of lower cost QLC SSDs with a little bit of Optane to get really great performance, but also good uh, cost metrics out of the HCI cluster because it can take advantage of the uh, lower cost QLC drives. Now this guy is the Dapu Store X2900P. And what this guy is aiming to do is take a little bit of Intel's business out of this storage class memory uh, category within the storage segment. Just like Optane, this uses a higher grade media for storage and it's almost like going back to the old days of, of single level cell NAND in, in terms of what we're seeing from a, a write performance number and also from an endurance number. These drives support a hundred drive write per day endurance spec and that's pretty amazing and more than most people will ever hope to use but it does give these drives extreme longevity. They've got a five year warranty, so they're expected to be around a while. And the performance profile, like I said, is really strong. We'll get into more of that later. Now, Intel, of course, uses their own media in their drives. That's their Optane uh, NAND that they, they call it. And that gives them a, uh, a production advantage. Dapu Store doesn't make their own NAND. They don't have a NAND fab. But what they have done is partnered with Kyoxia on their XL Flash. That's what's inside paired with Dapu Store's own controller and firmware. So while they can't make the NAND, they've bought the NAND, the next best thing, and that's Kyoxia's NAND. Really, Intel and Kyoxia are the only ones that are in the game when it comes to storage class memory media. Now, Samsung took a swing at it before with a sort of SCM-ish type drive a couple years back. But they've moved off of, of that idea and are putting more time into drives that are uh, zone namespace drives and uh, high capacity ruler form factor drives and computational storage. They're doing other things. We may see them come back around on SCM. I'm not sure where they stand on that, to be honest. But what we do have then is Intel in the space. We've got Dapu Store in the space, and then we've got Kyoxia, who's launched their own drive on their own uh, media, the FL6, but that's not quite shipping, not quite generally available. These two are, and one of those two drives is the fastest SSD on the planet. All right, so let's take a look at the performance numbers and see which one of these dual-ported NVMe Gen 4 SSDs is really the fastest. We ran both of the drives through our normal suite of tests, and uh, Got some really interesting results out of the, the mix. When we look at our VD bench numbers, starting with 4K random read, the DAPA store hit about 1.45 million IOPS, uh, while the uh, 50 P5800X showed about the same IOPS uh, as, as the DAPA store at peak, but a better latency profile overall. When we switch to 4K random writes, the X2900P shows some really impressive results. So what we've got here is the drive beats the Intel overall in total IOPS, but maintains the same latency profile. So this drive, uh, the Dapu Store drive, saw 1.41 million IOPS at uh, 85 more or less microseconds in latency. So that uh, random write 4K is a big win for Dapu Store. Now as we get into a little bit larger block, we go to 64K random read, the uh, Dapu store does pretty well overall. Intel does edge it out uh, with a little bit over 7 gigabytes a second read. Dapu store topped out at about 6.4, so it's a uh, win for Intel there, although Dapu store keeps it close. And again, when we switch over to 64K write, we see the drive, the Dapu store drive, pick up another win. So this time with the larger block writes, 
it reaches a little further than the 5800X with about 100, uh, let's see, 102,557 IOPS. Um, but its latency profile is better across the board. So another big win for the DAPU store. Okay, so as we look at those main workloads, we can see that uh, the DAPU store does a phenomenal job and even beats the, the P5800X in, uh, in write performance in 4K and 64K. As we go into the application tests, and you can check out all those charts on, uh, on the website, we'll link to that in the, in the description for this video, the Intel drive does come back and, and takes a pretty decent lead when the workloads are more mixed. So where does that leave us? Well, it leaves us with the DAPA store drive being really pretty darn good. It's also interesting because now that we've got an entrant in the storage class memory category, we could see some price fighting here. And that would mean these drives become more attainable. For your home lab, probably not. But for tiered storage use cases, that would be nice to see a little pressure on these drives that they're more attainable. Um, Intel does have still a capacity advantage, although this drive is available in a non-P variety, a little bit lower endurance, but it does double up the capacity to 1.6 terabytes at the high end. This guy in the high performance, high endurance segment is the uh, 800 gig drive that we reviewed, and it also comes in a 400 gig drive. But at the end of the day, both of these drives are very good, extremely capable, and we're just thrilled to see someone else in the space taking advantage of the Kyoxia NAND, because as stated, the Kyoxia drive with that NAND isn't quite available yet in, in uh, general availability. So for now, this is the proxy. This is the drive that, that we have to tell the story of how good is Kyoxia's XL Flash. And now that it's strapped into a Gen 4 interface, on a drive uh, from DAPU store with a controller that does very well. It's, uh, the story looks good, looks very bright for XL Flash, and uh, we're glad to see the challenge that Intel has ahead of it. So where do we end up on it? We really love the Intel drive. The 5800X is one of the best drives we've ever seen, and for mixed workloads, continues to be the uh, leaderboard winner on, on all fronts there. So that's your best all-arounder. now. The drive from DAPU store, though, does throw a little bit of a wrench in the works because it's got such great write performance, especially in the tests that we did, the 4K and 64K block sizes. If you know your application and can take advantage of that little edge this gives you in writes, then maybe it's a better fit. It comes down to the application, comes down to pricing, availability, all sorts of other things, but the DAPU store drives really, really good. We can't wait to see what comes next. Gen 5's around the corner in 2022, and these drives, this storage class memory drive, is going to absolutely fly. We'll have much more on that as we continue this series. Thanks for tuning in.